All right, we're all set. So my name is Constantine. I am a magician. I'm 16 years old. I've been going around table to table all night, showing you some card tricks and a little bit of mind reading. And I'm going to show you some of that up here. For my first little experiment, I am going to need a volunteer from the audience. And so if anyone would like to be my participant, please just raise your hand. If anyone, anyone at all, anyone. Actually, ma'am, in the pink shirt, would you, would you mind coming up here? Give her a huge round of applause. What's your name? Molly. Molly? Yes. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. And can we have one more person? We have Molly up here joining us. One other person? Anyone else? Uh, let's see. Let's get in front of Sharon. Excuse me, Sharon? Sharon? Would you mind being a participant for me? Sharon. For some magic? For a magic show? <laughs> It'll be over very soon. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you, Sharon. Hi. My name is Constantine. Hi. Thank you. Okay, so we have Molly and Sharon up here with me. What I'm going to attempt to accomplish is a bit of mind reading. So, Sharon, yeah. what I would like you to do okay. is just cut the deck anywhere you want, which means lift up a packet of cards, you remember the card you cut to, and then just place everything back on top. Okay. Okay? So go ahead, just cut off a packet of cards, remember the card you cut to, and place them all back. Perfect. And that was a free selection, right? I didn't influence you or anything. Wonderful. So make sure you remember that card. Okay. Molly, what I'm going to have you do in a minute is we're going to try to connect your mind with mine and Sharon's. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is deal cards into your hand like so. When I say go, it'll be about this pace. So one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And when I say stop, you're going to stop dealing at whatever card you're at. Okay. Okay? And don't start until I say go. Okay. So hold the deck in your hand. And Sharon, I'd like you to just focus on your card. I'm thinking about it. Okay? It's all right. No need to worry. And you can start right now, start dealing. Okay, focus on the color of your card. Imagine visualizing it very okay. clearly in your head. All right, got if it. it's red, make it really bright. If it's black, make it very dark in your, okay, this is a red card. It's very bright, shining back at you. Um, think about whether it's a heart or a diamond, whether it's a heart, it's a heart right? Yes, okay, good. Um, think about whether it's a number card or a face card. We have numbers, faces, ace through 10, jack, queen, oh, cause the number card immediately, uh, two, wait, stop, right there. Um, ace of hearts. The Ace of Hearts. Mm -hmm. And again, you stop dealing right there, correct? Yes. The one card you stopped at. The Ace oh. of Hearts. Magic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I'll have you stay up here for a minute if that's all right. Okay. We have another huge round of applause for volunteer Sharon. You can have your way back. Thanks. Thank you very much. What I'd like you to do is we're going to try this again, but with a little more uh, indepthness. What I'd like you to do is please think about uh, someone from your childhood, a, ch a childhood friend who you had a real connection with. Okay. okay? And once you have them in mind, when I snap my fingers, can you just name uh, four, name one characteristic you feel applies to them, okay? And then name four or five characteristics you feel don't apply to them at all. All right, just out loud. Okay. Uh, funny. Funny, okay, good. And then mean. <laughs> mean, they're, okay, they're not, they're a friendly person, good. <laughs> Blind, <laughs> or so they're not blind. Uh, stupid. Stupid. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we have an intelligent, uh, friendly, not blonde person. <laughs> Is that fair to say? Okay. And when I snap my fingers again, I want you to just say the uh, first letter of their name and four or five random letters of the alphabet out loud. Okay. Okay. E D M T Y L. Perfect. That's fine. Okay. And your voice didn't change when you said the first letter of their name, did it? No. Okay, and you didn't go off any like body language cues or anything really like that. So there's no way I should know which of those letters belong to the name, right? right. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the second letter. This time, if you place the first letter near the beginning of the letters you just said, place the second letter near the end of a new string of random letters. Okay. Or, or vice versa. Okay. All right, so say another string of random letters. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what I'd like you to do is focus on the person's entire name. Okay. First of all, yes or no, do you know how many letters are in it? Wait, it's like, it's completely fine. And if there's a way to shorten it, just do that. Okay. If there's like a nickname or a shorter name, just do that. Okay. That's good. Okay. Perfect. Um, and repeat the full name in your head. Okay. Get I'd actually like you to write this down so you can show it to everyone else. Okay. So we have a Sharpie here. A little business card. So can you just 
on the center of the card right there, just on top of the line, please write down their name okay. and just show it to the camera so that everyone knows which name you're thinking of. Okay. Okay. It's important you don't show it to me. Okay. And tell me once you've done that. And you can just show it to everyone else. Show it to the camera and hand me the, the pen. And then fold it back up once you're done. Okay, is it folded back up? Perfect. So focus on the entire name now. Again, you've simply thought of a name, you've written it down, and it's, uh, would you hold it in your hand? Focus on the first letter. And now the second letter in your head. And the full name, repeat it in your head over and over. M. Uh, Emily. Emily? Emily? Thank you so much. We have a huge round of applause for our volunteer, Molly. Thank you so much. Now, in addition to mind reading, something I really enjoy doing is sleight of hand card magic. And people always ask me as a magician if it helps to like cheat at poker games and, and other card games. And the truth is it does. I cheat at card games all the time. And I'm going to demonstrate this using the uh, four aces. So we have one, two, three, and four aces. Now, in a card game, these would start spread out evenly in the deck, correct? So we're going to spread them out so they're randomly separated like that. It's important that you can all see they're separated throughout the deck. And the deck would also start shuffled, right? So we're going to shuffle them into the deck like so. There's a thing in card cheating called holding out cards. A card holdout is when you uh, secretly remove a card from the deck and put it like in your sleeve or, or, your, or your pocket or something. The truth is I've actually already done that invisibly. So if we reach into my pocket here, we have one card, the ace of spades. We have the second ace, the ace of hearts. In my back pocket, we should have, what? We should have the, the ace of clubs. And over here, again, nothing up my sleeves. We should have the ace of diamonds. Thank you very much. And that's, that's exactly how I cheat at cards. <laughs> Except uh, in card games, you want it to be a little less uh, you know, crazy than that. You wouldn't want it to go to different pockets. You want all the cards to go to the same pocket. So what we're going to do is, okay. what we're going to do is, can everyone hear me? All right. Separate them again evenly throughout the deck. You can see those are fairly evenly spread. And it'll happen a little faster this time. All the aces are completely gone from the deck of cards and have tra traveled back to the pocket. Thank you. At this point, people always say to me, like, yo, yo, Constantine, man, bro, homie, dog, you gotta have, like, multiple different aces in all your different pockets. You probably have, like, 10 aces in this pocket, like, 20 in this one. In fact, the ace probably has, like, 10 different sets of aces in it. And that's the natural reaction, right? All of you probably thought I had like duplicate aces, right? But I'm going to prove to you that there's only one pair of aces in the deck. Okay, only four aces total. In fact, I'll go through each card individually to show you that there's only four aces. Okay, look. Look, you can see there's actually no other cards in the deck whatsoever <laughs> except my four pocket aces right here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I always love performing here. Thank you so much to Aeronaut Brewery. And can we please have a huge round of applause welcoming our next band, the Pocket Aces.